All righty, we finally have a construction update worth posting. There's a lot to go over. Um, so we'll start off with the main thing, the roller coaster coming to Planet Snoopy next year in 2023. Uh, so uh, a lot of you don't know, but back there, there used to be an aquarium and currently that is what they're digging up. So over the last couple of days, they've been digging up the aquarium and land clearing, removing old water mains, um, electrical, trees, any sort of debris. It looks like there's a lot of debris back there based off of the drone footage. Um, and it also looks like they're getting ready to clean up the area. We haven't seen full signs, but we're keeping our eyes on this pizza pizza. Um, right now, those ladders are just for Winterfest. Ignore them. That's not why we're thinking that building. But we're keeping our eyes on pizza pizza through the off season after Winterfest. Um, but yeah, lots of work going on. They've ripped up the row or the the pathway that went through there. You can see where footings are going to go. It looks like wherever you see those three little orange markers together in a clump is exactly where they're going to go. Um, so it's definitely looking like this thing's going to really take up a very little land of what the old dinosaurs alive uh, used to house. But yet, nonetheless, we have been hearing from our rumor mill that the track is actually in that building that you just are looking at right now. So in that building, um, uh, the with the construction trailer there, that construction trailer is not linked to the construction site, by the way. But that sh giant shed is where we're hearing some track is stored. Um, nonetheless, uh, they also have some bolts or decorations. Can't quite defer which is either underneath that picnic pavilion. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. That could just be the little candy cane walkthrough maze that they do for Winterfest. Um, Super Silker has received a paint job. I don't know why they did it before winter, to be honest. Um, but I do know the parts are coming sometime around April to May um, are the dates that I've been given for the, the pieces to arrive and be installed. Um, obviously, take that with a grain of salt. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we have said before, but uh, Igloo Village is going to be right behind Swings of the Century. Cool Yule and um, Holly Jolly Trolley will be over by Sledgehammer and Cyclone, and Sledgehammer and Cyclone will be operating. Based off of the stockholders' call today, Cedar Fair is expecting Canada's Wonderland to break 2019 attendance numbers for Winterfest. Um, so be prepared for an extremely busy Winterfest. If you're looking to ride these two rides, good luck. Um, but nonetheless, I'm super excited for Winterfest. Um, they are on like a roll with the maintenance department. Uh, Leviathan was already taken apart. Behemoth was mostly taken apart as you can see here. Um, so I just thought that was cool to show you guys the shots of that. The trains kind of just being put on their little holders before they get completely taken apart by the maintenance department and re-put back together. That's how they ensure all the parts are there and in working order. It's a really lengthy process. Um, and uh, that's why a lot of parks that are open year-round either by four trains or, or go down to like two or one train operations uh, during their slow period so they can work on their trains. There's a shipping container stored there. Now, I'm not going to get too excited because it could be the shipping container um, for Vampire Disco. I'm not quite sure. Um, so we're going to just erase that for now. Just ignore that. We don't know what's in there. I'll have to talk to my sources. But over there on a trailer uh, in wood, you can tell it looks like the rods, um, bolts, and stuff for the footings are in those wood containers on the trailer just back there next to the giant present, if you can see that on the drone. Um, so I thought I'd just show you guys that. And there's a lot of insulation still back there. So keep your eyes out. It looks like Wonderland might have either a renovation in store um, or a new building still planned for 2023 that they have not yet announced. Regardless, there is some sort of renovation at minimum coming. Um, I can't see that insulation being for anything else. It could be for the station of the new roller coaster, but it's been sitting there since the construction of the restaurant that just opened. Nothing going on in terms of the flat ride. There are some orange little markers that the drone can see. Can this drone is crazy, okay? Like the fact that I'm able to fly in this little water pond area, um, park and get these shots is absolutely insane. Obviously, the construction site is a little harder to see, but Winterfest is well on the way. As you see, there's a yellow crane installing the ice rink, um, and the big two Christmas trees at Front Gate are ready to install, and Santa's sleigh has arrived on top of the Front Gate. Um, speaking of Front Gate, I would definitely keep an eye on Front Gate over the next two to three years. We are starting to hear rumblings. 
Um, but as always, take Amusement Insider's rumblings with a grain of salt um, until the park makes a full announcement. Um, but nonetheless, I'm really excited for Winterfest. I don't know about you guys. I'm just really excited for Winterfest. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, there is some weird scaffolding over by Leviathan's statue. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that. Again, it could just be refurbishment, paint, cleaning, or installing some sort of Christmas uh, thing to it. So, um, but yeah, I thought that was interesting just film that. And I'm going to show you guys Leviathan's trains not on the track and parked right down there. So I thought that was super cool. I got to show you guys some things I haven't been able to show you before with this crazy um, Zoom drone and uh, the fact that we have a park across the highway um, that we can fly from a different angle is awesome. So we'll be able to watch the construction of this coaster. Anyways, thanks so much for supporting the channel and watching our videos. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we have a new newsletter that I will write once a month, um, releasing the first week of every month. So our Patreons on Patreon um, are going to see our first newsletter for November, where I'll be leaking what I know about Marineland. Um, but yeah, and other stuff as well. So every month I will leak a few things or give um, a lot of the information I know over to you guys. So definitely check out our Patreon. And thanks so much. Uh, we'll have a couple of videos a week or one video a week on the construction as we see fit if there's anything. Um, but our Patreons will get photos uh, about two to three times a week if there's something to post. Anyways, thanks so much. Have a good one, guys. Bye.